Hey, I'm Rachel, technical director and mess maker extraordinaire at Global Kingston, and thank you for joining me in the back workshop for Nail or Fail. And I want to go down memory lane. I supposedly got to do this activity when I was like eight years old, but I really don't remember doing it. And it has been trending pretty hard on YouTube and Facebook, and I really want to make the attempt at redoing how to make butter. Who doesn't love butter? especially freshly churned butter. There are thousands of videos and tutorials with millions of hits just on making homemade butter. The process is fairly simple. The only ingredient is heavy cream or whipping cream and you agitate the cream until the fat separates from the liquid. It takes on average about 20 to 30 minutes. According to my mom, I made butter in my brownie troop back in the day, but I don't remember doing this. My sister was the one that got all the badges I apparently had enough skill to earn a toothbrush, according to this picture, so we'll see how this goes. There are a few different ways that we can do this. I mean, I could be awesome and a little bit lazy and just magically have my stand mixer just do all the work for me. Just set it, leave it, have a coffee, it's fine, but we're not gonna do that. I mean, I could use mason jars. I mean, mason jars are pretty awesome and everything, but I don't wanna jiggle my arm back flat more than I absolutely need to. So I found a happy medium and we're actually just going to churn our butter. And if this actually does work, my baking is about to get 10 times more pretentious. Well, it's starting to not look like whipped cream. Twenty minutes, my. This is way too messy. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my God! Look at that. It's thicker. That's sexy. No. Oh! I actually have butter. I have made butter. We made butter. All right, so this is butter number one. Okay. I don't know if this is your butter or if you bought this from a store. Here is number two. Okay. <clears throat> I honestly can't tell them apart. I like them both, but if I had to pick one right now, mm -hmm. I'd say the first one. I'm going to unfriend you on Facebook, because that was store-bought. I said both are good, though. <laughs> this is still good. That one was uh, hand-churned. Really? Hmm. Great job. No, a great job. I'm going to fin I'm gonna even going to finish eating this one. Because I'm standing right here looking at you, so you are going to finish that one. <laughs>